They ain't asked for it, they did it to me. What? Niggas exposing their hands for free. Get caught in the middle of this bullseye. Get it too. You got hit, but we were targeting. Okay, y'all, my dreams have been off the hook. So, welcome back. Um, Like, they've been off the hook, so. Welcome back. I'm going to post the rest of my um, Zodiac readings coming up. Um, we we had a storm here and it knocked our power out and our power is still out. So, in between my own personal life and things that I have to work, my personal life, those have been my priority with the lack of power right now. Hopefully, it should be back today because... Um, that's what the hell they said. <laughs> they said it was supposed to be back last night, but I don't know. So let's just see. Dashi, could you please stop? All right. Let's see here. Where's your micro area? Oh, Gabriel. Okay, Ashe, amen. I can't hear Michael. And sisters, what messages do you have for my collective? Okay, that was just uh, shit that fell out. Okay, this one says uh, chaos and conflict, but it's in reverse here. Um, I don't know, I feel like there's something here about this because this chaos and conflict is in reverse and this to be fair is um is different so i feel like i want to do that shuffle again yeah can you clarify like, what okay serendipity so serendipity um chaos and conflict okay and then um dashy please get down excuse me y'all my puppy is acting buck wild hold on for a second god jeez he acting just crazy okay so chaos and conflict in reverse serendipity which is a very beautiful card um it's a lot of the cards in this deck that look like this remind me of fairies it's like basically whatever you whatever you touch whatever you're doing whatever you're touching whatever you're getting ready to create whatever you're thinking is just gonna like that prosper okay but then we have this orphan card here so it's like two different energies here <laughs> somebody is like yay and then somebody is like ooh and then it's chaos and conflict is in reverse so i don't know and then yin is at the bottom so i'm already picking up some shit where this energy didn't want the chaos and conflict it's it's very clear to me and they sought out to resolve chaos and conflict, possibly in some type of domestic situation, um, possibly in a domestic situation or just uh, situations dealing with relationships, okay? This energy right here, um, because I noticed what, on this card, this, this, this animal is shedding skin, okay? And it looks more like coming its authentic self. Like this animal at first thought it was one thing like this animal was a giraffe and now it's shedding to be a zebra so though this tells me is that this this energy is being their authentic self why wow. and they left that like they've done the work to shed all that old skin to come into who they really are spiritually they've done the spiritual work so they shed that old skin so they don't have any chaos and conflict this energy right but this energy this energy speaks highly that this energy did not take that opportunity and walk on a spiritual path and advance on a spiritual growth because not only is this energy feeling left out in the cold this energy is wearing a mask too and it just feels like it's it's isolated it's all alone by itself and it doesn't it, it's not giving off that same vibrant energy as the serendipity energy it seems like with this energy since it did not do the spiritual work and uh, evolve and show up its authentic self it is having trouble right now like a lot of trouble and it just feels this is might even be the type of energy that fronts in front of people and make it look all good but it's not all good type of energy so yeah 
So let's clarify. So we got this energy on this side, and then we got this energy on this side. So let's just clarify the two. And then you got yin here at the bottom. And this is a this card just reminds me of like femininity, um, beauty, self-love, soft, gentle, romantic. That's what this energy reminds me of. I swear to God. And then you got this message in the bottle right there. So yeah, this energy has been definitely doing the work. And there's two different energies here, and they possibly was uh, asked to leave a situation. So let's clarify this energy first, and then we'll clarify that one second. I hope you guys are doing fine out there. totally two different energies and it's like this energy wants the chaos and conflict that's why this energy is being left out in the cold now because this energy was possibly asked to transmute or let go of past negative thoughts and feelings and patterns and they didn't seem to not didn't want to do that they seem to want to hold on to that and spirit is kind of giving them a, a lashing a lesson for not trying to let go of that or or of those uh, ways of being Okay, can you clarify the serendipity card? <clears throat> the seven of pentacles wanted to come out, but it didn't. So some, like I said, somebody was working on themselves. Somebody was planning, planning the right spiritual roots, planning the right spiritual roots, betting on the right, right team. Okay, investing in themselves, investing in themselves, investing in themselves spiritually, being patient with themselves. That card wanted to come out, but it didn't. But that still is a message. That was clarifying the serendipity card. Okay, there's no cards to clarify here, I guess. All right. But just that one. So let's clarify this orphan card. What card was that? Okay, so this orphan card was clarified by the six of cups and the knight of cups with this ten of wands peeking out here so yeah somebody they was not willing to let go of these let me get it close since my light is not on right now so this is here so somebody was not the knight of cups is here the six of cups is here so somebody was not willing to let go of something in the past somebody wanted to hold on to it for dear life um very moody very childish type of energy um, just a, just like somebody who just, you you know how there's some people that like will create a story and they'll just over exaggerate the situation more than what it really is. This, this is that type of energy, okay? Something in the past had happened with this energy and um, they wanted, it seems like to me, they wanted to make it more out than what it really was. It wasn't really that deep. It's just that they wanted to make it more than what it needed to be. So somebody has some real inner child issues is what's going on here. And what happened was happening was spirit was trying to teach this person how to work on those inner child wounds, how to show them that they're projecting what they're feeling onto other people to show them how to heal that. And this person was neglecting their inner child and running away from it and projecting onto others because they didn't want to do that self work. Um, that shadow work because I know this is a dark card so with them doing that they didn't learn the spiritual lessons that they needed to learn and they're still stuck spiritually okay and they're wondering why things are not working out for them and why things seem to be so challenging for them and this is why because they took their energy and instead of taking and applying that energy to heal themselves they they chose to misuse their energy and misuse their power by possibly just being really nasty towards somebody and saying possibly some really nasty things you know what i mean and so now spirit is like you know you gotta you gotta come you gotta deal with that karma now you can't run from that and so now they're, they have these heavy burdens and they're being burdened yeah with this page of pentacles in reverse they're not receiving like the spiritual insight that they they wouldn't possibly normally receive right now okay they're possibly not learning from the failure hopefully they are 
but it's a possibility they're not seeing as they came out orphan okay so there's just a lot of stagnation and no progress had with this energy yes and then i pulled that back and the ace of pentacles came out right after that so this person is just really having a really hard fucking time right now even financially because this is also the finances card okay this person has lost a lot of opp opportunities they've made some bad investments um it's just looking real scarce for them right now and when i removed that this three of cups energy was here and this is because they involved themselves in some type of third party three of cups energy okay so not only was this person okay so this must be some type of soulmate situation so not only was this person um so this is okay so now i'm picking up a new energy right so now this person obviously this serendipity was over here working and i bet you this must be the feminine energy right right this but i'm not gonna just i'm not gonna jump on to conclusions and just say that but this energy over here is working on themselves minding their business whatever the case may be right this energy over here was too busy projecting that's what's going on here projecting everything that they needed to work on on their path and not showing up their authentic selves onto this energy right here okay possibly a lot of blame a lot of bullying and when I said earlier, this person probably said some really nasty things. This person probably said some really nasty things to this energy over here. And with this Three of Cups here, still stuck in the past. I, I, I don't know why I get the sense that this energy was possibly even gossiping about this energy to this energy. Okay. About some past shit that happened already that was over with. And all, earlier I said, and not only did they gossip about it, they were over exaggerating about it because their judgment was off here okay and i get the sense that there was healing offered here for this person but i don't know why i feel like this energy was rejecting it and i say that this energy was rejected rejected it because we saw earlier how spirit dealt the cards the cards came out chaos and conflict in reverse and this opportunity was given to resolve this issue and resolve this conflict and this energy wanted to do that because this healing that was offered, that spirit was offering, this energy said, okay, I'll take it. Because I'm, 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 I'm going places, I'm healing, I'm happy, and I don't need no comment. All right, y'all, so I'm back. So as soon as, um, as soon as I said something about my power, it came back on. So yesterday I couldn't do any messages because the storm had occurred right when, like, this would be the t around the time that I would do messages. So it was, it was a wrap for me at that time. But today, I, Spirit was like, uh, the show must go on, power or not. And then you see now my power back on. So the point is that um, y you came to this person for healing, okay? Spirit put you in this person's life for not only you to heal, y'all both to heal, all right? And this person, I get, I don't know why I get the, 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 the I, I heard some about like, I heard a few things. I get the point, I get the get the message that at some point this person brought in this third party situation, okay, and was gossiping with you. And it, it's it's like a whole like it's a whole scandal in related in relation to this actually. It's it's a lot more that that has come out and possibly is still coming out right now to this day that you're finding out. And this is all because this person is holding on to the past. This person is holding on to the past of like what other motherfuckers to do to them or had done to them and they had um they didn't even give you a fair chance and you came in to heal this connection and this person didn't even give you a fair chance okay i'm gonna put that there what else do you have to say about this and you notice that like earlier i was trying to get cards for this and none was coming out and i knew you notice how all the cards is coming out here because it's almost like spirit. It, it could look like spirit is blaming this person, but spirit is just assigning accountability where it needs to be assigned to. Because what has happened is this person has not yet to take accountability. And so that is what's happening. Spirit is assigning this accountability to this energy because this energy hasn't assigned it to itself, okay? Meanwhile, you have assigned accountability to it 
and yourself and whatever parts you played and you healed that shit that is why you're showing up with the chaos and no chaos and no conflict but this energy is still showing up that way and this ten of swords here there was a lot of fucking betrayal here okay there's all the betrayal this person the way that this person is in this snow with these knives and these wolves are ho hovering around i get the sense that this energy like betrayed you this is being read two ways I get the sense that this energy be like betrayed you and the whole nine and left you out for dead. Like strategized on betraying you. Probably ghosted you and everything and plant, plotted the whole shit and left you out to, to bleed. Left you out in the cold to bleed and, and from afar was watching you. That's why they were still gossiping about you with this, this energy. With this three of cups energy. Because they were they were trying to ruin you right left you out in the cold you came to heal and make beautiful shit happen and this person <laughs> betrayed you left you out in the cold and was still watching over you watch watch to see watching to see you fall that's crazy as hell that's crazy as hell and then the, the other way this is being read now basically what that person put out is coming right back to them that's another way this is being read okay all right. Like I said, spirit is basically assigning accountability where it needs to be assigned to because this person has yet to do that. So everything that they've done is basically coming back to them. All right. Why did this person do this? Why would they, why did this person pass up on healing? That's what I don't understand. Why did this person pass up on healing? This person was heavily in their ego. Why did this person pass up? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, ooh, whoa, okay. Ooh, this person had a lot of pride. Ooh, you see these three cards poking out at the top right here? I'm, I'm going to sit these down. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, okay? This card flipped over. It says three of swords here in reverse, okay? This person, okay, so this person did this because I said it, because this person... We had went through something with somebody else and they assigned you they tried to assign you that energy that they went through with somebody else they were still healing from a broken heart i said they were still they were still healing from somebody that had dealt with in the past and they assigned the same energy from that person to you that's what they did and you was nothing like nothing like that energy at all like if you look at the energy over here and the energy over here is two different energies literally i said that earlier but it's literally two fucking different energies you was nothing like that energy but because this person was wearing a mask this person thought uh, actually this person assumed because it said over here this person had an old and this nine of cups energy that's somebody with an overactive at, uh imagination that's somebody that's very dramatic like they'll tell a story but they'll over exaggerate the shit this is that so this person was still stuck in a head with this ten of swords like that thinking that you were like that and assigned that energy that they went through with somebody else to you i get the sense that this energy really needs to see a therapist and they don't like they don't and they really need to see one like seriously because this energy with this pride card here that's why i'm saying this and i'm gonna show you in a minute this person this energy has a lot of pride so they'll try to make it seem like they're okay they might dress it up make it look nice but they're dying inside but but they don't realize they're not showing themselves self self-love and they're killing themselves literally this is somebody who could easily cause themselves to age prematurely for no reason mental health disorders mental issues um when you don't take care of when you deal with stuck energy in your body and you don't allow your chakras to flow easily you create ailments in within you from doing that and this person doesn't realize that they're killing themselves to try to hurt somebody else that didn't do nothing but try to come and help them heal that's why i said this person there's something mentally wrong and it's the one is their pride you see how this eight of pentacles and this king of pentacles is in reverse but this six of wands is upright that also stands for pride yes it stands for success and a lot of um beautiful things triumph but what i happen to notice because these two cards on the other side are in reverse that person had a lot of pride that's why this is coming out like this this person was very materialistic very greedy possibly uh 
taking care of doing business deals, being very sloppy about their work, not going over it correctly. And it came back to bite them in the ass. This person did a lot of this just to get money. And because I get the sense that with this pride here, I get the sense that this person in their right mind, they're very good at this. Very skilled, uh, pays attention to detail. Very, 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 very great fucking person. Has the potential to be a great fucking person, which is why Spirit decided to invest them in the first fucking place. Okay? Because Spirit wanted them to see them for who they really are so they can invest in them fucking selves. And they sent somebody here. I get, I gather it must be a nurturing type energy, which I would gather will be the feminine. But this person didn't want that. They wanted this Three of Cups energy that basically attract they attract they attracted in themselves is what they did so they could see themselves and it was because this person has a lot of pride okay let's get more on this business deal situation because i said earlier this person their finances came out twice and them being burdened and i know the spirit brought it out again so they must want me to get to this finance situation let's so let's see what the hell is going on with that let's see why they're making a point out for that let's okay they want me to grab some other cards first I noticed they for their finances is all over this shit. This person is dealing with a lot, dealing with a lot of emotions. They have a, this, this is what this person is dealing with a lot with. Okay, all right. This person has has some real mental issue per problems that is a fact. This person also, action wise, this person has made some very poor decisions. This person also financially has made some very poor decisions. And this person emotionally wise is really fucked up right now. And it's all based on their decisions. It's all based on their pride. It's all based on not listening to spirit. It's all based on thinking that they got all the answers and they could do the shit they self. And still has, has, still has failed to realize that spirit has come to this person more than once to, to, to reach out reach out its hand and say i can help you if you let me okay this person could have been standing in victory and triumph okay and recognition for doing the right thing for themselves but they refused they kept refusing it kept refusing it kept refusing this healing kept refusing it kept refusing it all because they want to do what they want to do because of their pride and their ego all right what do you have to say about this um eight of pentacles and this receipts so somebody got themselves in some type of business deal shit didn't go right and now people are asking for proof people are wanting to know people are wanting to see step by step hand by hand you know what what's going on here and for some reason i feel like this energy is not able to provide it because they were sloppy in their work can you clarify this receipts card it says ready to explode rage pressure cooker Okay, can you clarify that card? I don't know. Okay, some type of projected... Um, oh, wow, the Divine Masculine came out, but it came out right here. I'm going to pull it up so you can see. It came out right here, came out in reverse. So, yeah, this is a Divine Masculine. So, yeah, this side is a Divine Masculine, and this is a Feminine. This person has not been cleansing their space they've been allowing just negative entities and uh oh and then a divine feminine came out look at that i, I knew it was a feminine this is upright this person has not been clear cleansing their space they have just been allowing all types of entities and whatever to uh, to attach to them it's like this person has not been taking care of themselves okay they have not been they have not been it's like they they've almost like this is the energy of somebody giving up okay this person things are going so fucked up in this person's life that they're ready they're ready to be in ready to go in a rage this person needs a lot of prayer but the thing is you you can pray for this person but if this person doesn't do shit for themselves how how far can the prayer get them okay how far can the prayer get somebody that possibly will refuse to heed the signs and the warnings how far this person really needs some fucking prayer like real talk this energy is is some other shit okay this is not funny at all this is not funny 
okay this settlement agreement compromise card came out but this energy is not in the, in in the in the mental space to even be trying to compromise with anything this energy needs to compromise with itself first if anything that's that's what needs to happen here It needs to compromise with itself and it needs to turn to God. Because in a twin flame connection, they say that the feminine holds the, you know, the energy. So if the feminine is healing and raising her vibration, then the masculine will. But also, too, what you have to, what needs to be realized is that they, we have our free will. So no matter how much this feminine heals, if this energy decides it wants to do what the fuck it wants to do, it's going to do what the fuck it want to do. And that's just period. What was it that? Okay. This pressure cooker. Can you clarify this and this receipts, please? Okay. He's talking somebody. It's probably this feminine. Um, should be actually, or or possibly hired a private detective to watch you. I don't know why that just came to me. Um, girl fight. Okay. So either this three of cups, because the day did come out, it's this three of cups that's possibly watching you, watching your moves. Okay. Because this came out, sorry, I didn't show you guys. This, this, this fucking, uh, this female that this person was talking see this is what i cannot stand some a male goes i did a video something something like this and you go gossip and speak on somebody else and then you evolve another chick okay this is what i just heard the reason why the reason why this girl is watching you now is because you're psychic or some shit okay some of you and do tarot whatever the case may be and okay this okay some some others came through okay hold on and what's going on is that if you got well however you do your tarot platform whatever you do some of the stuff you said came to fruition in their lives that's what's going on and so now they're watching you because whenever you do a reading or however you do it it's almost like it's like a weird energy it's almost like obsession like this shit is coming to fruition of some of the stuff that you said is going on in their lives, but at the same time, they're angry at you and obsessed at the same time. Like, they're angry and admired at the same time. It's weird. It's just weird. It's just some weird shit. That's what's going on. That's what's going on, because it's clarified the rage card. This person's triggered as fuck, because some of the stuff that you've said has actually come to fruition. That's possibly why the receipts card came out, proof, show me proof, because some of the stuff that you came out the receipts came, the receipts showed up, the receipts showed up, and so now she mad, now she's mad, but this divine masculine is still in his poor energy, not this divine masculine is still in his poor energy, she's mad at you because the stuff that, that has come up that you talked about is showing up in their lives, and they can't do anything about it, and, and it's like they're blaming you, and they're gossiping about you, and slandering you, almost trying to make you seem like demonic or some shit but what they don't understand is that the reason this is happening because she's not supposed to be here she's not the divine chosen person with this person let's make this clear let's pull the cards out she is the three of cups energy it is in reverse it is three of cups in reverse if i clarify it's probably gonna come out karmic right and i'm gonna do that right he is the divine masculine he is in reverse because he associated himself with this shit right right you are the divine feminine, right? You, you're you supposed to have some type of contract with each other. The star, right? Serendipity, this is you, right? She don't get that shit. Whoever this person is, she got a mental problem too. Because she thinks that she is the one. But she doesn't understand the shit that's happening to them isn't because of you. They're trying to place the blame on you. It's because of both of themselves. It's because she is in a place that she's not supposed to be. She's on a path that it has nothing to do with her. And the funny thing is, I'll get to that. Because I heard I heard something else like she was getting readings on you. Right? So she know exactly what she's doing. It's about to be long. She's in a place where she ain't supposed to be. And so the fuck is he. 
he ain't the place he ain't supposed to be. And now he mad, she mad at you because the stuff that you're saying is coming to fruition in their lives. And I said about their money issues, like, for instance, you might have did a reading and said that they weren't going to have no money or he, he don't have no money right now, and he doesn't. And they seeing it, and it's coming out. It's coming out. Uh-huh. And so they reflecting on the shit. They reflecting on the shit. That's why, they, that's why she watching you, okay? That's why she watching you. That's why she's watching you. That is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy than a motherfucker. So let's clarify this Three of Cups card. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Was all in your business. Looking you up and shit. Because of the stuff that you were... Like I said, some of y'all don't know what you do. <laughs> but if you, if you do YouTube, however you do your readings, she, whatever you were saying, it came true. And so now she's trying to figure out who you are. Like, what's so special about you, basically? Okay? That's what's going on. And it, But in the meantime, because the Three of Cups also stands for somebody that's gossiping, petty, bitter, shit like that. In the meantime, okay, she's trying to tear you down. Because the stuff that you said about their lives is true. It's happening. But they don't, they can't stomach that. They can't take that. They can't take that. So... He went to her gossiping about you telling you. He possibly went to her. This is what I just picked up to. After y'all and after he ghosted you or whatever the case may be, he knew that you were powerful. Please believe it. Because stuff that stuff when it was between you and him happened in, in y'all lives. He's seen it. Okay. He witnessed it. When stuff started to happen in their life, when they started to get that karma that they created for themselves, he went to her. And told her it was him. It was your, told her it was your fault because you some type of witch or some bullshit, right? And then that's what made her started watching you. Uh, that's what made her start watching you, because like I said, he was projecting. He was putting the blame on you instead of telling her the truth. He didn't. He didn't tell her the truth. He didn't tell her that's my twin flame. Okay, this is possibly somebody who don't believe in that type of shit. That's why he's not telling her the truth. He didn't tell her, this is my twin flame. We're destined to be together. We had a past life. I ghosted her because I didn't want to do the work. And now this is my karma and it's coming on you too. That's what the fuck is going on. He didn't tell her. He didn't tell her the truth. He told her a little bit of it. But it still don't give her an excuse to do the shit she doing either. It still don't give her an excuse to do it either. Okay? Because let me tell you, if somebody come to me and tell me that I was dating somebody else and they... they possibly got some type of abilities and then i'm watching them from a distance and the shit that they saying is happening in my life i'm gonna start making some real moves i'm possibly gonna be looking at this dude like you can i need to get the fuck away from you some ain't right i'm not going to stay around that's just something's off with that okay something's off with that and that's what's going on something's off with that or she could just be delusional as fuck convincing herself one thing and it ain't that it also could be that as well all right because my thing is that god is powerful if things are happening in your life because a tarot reader said it the tarot reader is not god they can only grab the energy from source because we are chosen to do this shit and if we are being allowed to do it, that should say something to you. Anyway, yes, there are some people that do that be on some other shit, but some a lot of us ain't that that. <laughs> okay. Can you clarify this three of cups, please? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. I told you, a bitter, manipulative, vindictive bitch. That's what the Queen of Swords in reverse is. I knew it was gonna come out, that's why I wanted to clarify it. That's exactly what the fuck is going on. That's why she can't stomach it. That's why she can't stomach it. That's why. Because the queen of swords in reverse? Huh. Huh. Now, now she trying to, she out to get you. But what she don't understand is that you probably sitting back like, I wish you would. I wish you would. That's why she's sitting back watching. Because she, because she, she know, she know that some of that shit, and I'm processing most of that shit 
that you said came to fucking true. The receipts, God brought the motherfucking receipts. That source energy brought them receipts, and she can't stomach that. And so now she's sitting here watching, want to fight you, don't know she's going to get herself fucked up, excuse my French, because she's a bitter, manipulative bitch. Because she's a bitter, manipulative bitch. That's why. That's why. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Like, she is, like, this is this type of energy... If the queen of swords in reverse remember it's in reverse so that means this person is the queen of manipulation this person is the queen of bitterness this person is the queen of jealousy this person is also jealous of you this person is the queen of envy i said earlier this energy gonna try to make it look like everything is all good but it's not wow what else do y'all got to say oh i told you this person was getting tarot readings on you the motherfucking car came out right here the person been getting tarot readers on you. I told you. That's why they watching you. That's why they watching you. That's why they watching you. I'm reading this two ways. They been getting tarot readers, tarot readers on you. And they've been telling people, like I said earlier in this video, that you're a fake and you're a phony. Because they want to give you a bad reputation. I said that shit. Because the, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth is the shit that you've been saying has been coming to fruition in their own personal lives but they're not gonna tell people that they're not gonna tell people that shit they've been telling people if they fuck with you they're gonna get burned that's what they've been telling people because he didn't tell the real truth but he don't even know that the more that they do this dumb shit the more they're gonna fuck themselves up and that's real talk that's what they don't know that's what they don't know okay I think I'm in this reading here because this is some disgusting energy. And I ain't here for it. This nine of wands was in reverse right here when I removed the queen of swords. Okay. I told you earlier, this person is giving up. This person is also refusing. Um, This per this is being read two ways. This person is giving up. Um, No, this was just going on. Okay. Because earlier I said this person was giving up, judging by the energy, they need prayer. But also, too, as well, um, both of them are very, uh, both of them are very, very stubborn. They're both struggling, okay? They refuse to see the truth, and they're stuck in their ways. That is what's going on with this Nine of Wands in reverse, Okay? But this energy is not going to get them anywhere. And he refuses to, to, to heed this transformation. I told you spirit kept coming to them for healing. Trying to get them to go through this transformation to them for themselves. So they could see themselves. If they could see themselves for who they really are. Where's this divine masculine card in reverse? Then they will see through all of this shit. But they can't see it. They can't see it. They still sleep. They still in that 3D uh, mindset. And I was reading some earlier about people that stuck in that. Yeah. They're blocked. Two of swords avoiding decisions avoiding the shit um i was reading some earlier where people that still stuck in that 3d mindset because they're trying to move this ai artificial intelligence for it see what is happening is what is interesting because with the dark and the light you know what i mean with shadow and whatever with shadow and enlightenment the source energy divine you you are not gonna be able to fake at some point and keep faking and you just keep faking and making it seem like everything's all good. You're going to be put in a position where you will end up being as fake as you are. You will actually end up being that artificial intelligence. Because, see, the reason that we all started this frequency on unconditional love and healing, because the divine already saw this shit coming. And for those that were chosen and don't like and despise, despise fake and despise lies and despise phony and honor truth was like nah we want the truth so we waking the fuck up but those that are okay with the lies that are okay with the phony that are okay with the fake is still stuck in this 3d shit and so those will end up being the people that's a part of that artificial intelligence that will be a slave to the government that it will be a slave to i don't know how to say it this worldly shit and for those that are chosen and are doing that, they're going to have the shit way worse. They're going to have the shit worse than the people who who are not chosen at this lifetime 
and are in 3D mentality. Because everybody has their lifetime to be chosen to do some shit. You don't have to, you don't have to be an awakened tarot person to have, I don't know how to say it, but how do I say it? You have somebody who's awakened, that's, that's chosen to do this, what I'm doing. You have somebody who's a 3D, in the 3D mindset, that this is just not their lifetime to do this type of shit, okay? This, this is their lifetime to do whatever it is they do, okay? I call it the lifetime of free will. I don't know if that exists. I'm just making this shit right here because that's what it seemed like. If you haven't been chosen to do something in this lifetime and you're just doing what you do, to me, that's free will, okay? And then there's that are in the 3D mindset that are chosen but are sticking to stay in a 3D mindset. The, those are three categories I see. And those that are stuck in a 3D mindset, chosen to do something different, but disobeying are gonna suffer worse than a person that's here as a 3D free will person that's here to just to do what it is that they wanna do because this is the lifetime for them to do that. The 3D chosen person is gonna suffer worse than that person. That's just off rip. Okay, because you were you were you were enlightened and you chose to do something else. So that's the reason reading I have for y'all. I'm about to be out, y'all. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscribes. Thank you for your support for my growing channel. It's growing slowly, but it's growing. Okay, it's doing a good damn job. And hey. Hey, don't go against me, they ask for my help Go get out your feelings and get it yourself Might got the same shoes, but you ain't gonna step nope. That shit that you just put out, you could've kept